share this video, pull up my InDesign, and I'm gonna share. I'm gonna create a whole new page. All right. So when you open up InDesign, you go up here. You can always do a new file there. But I just just to have it on. I to go up new, document. I choose that. Then I come over here and create my files. Um, we're gonna go vertical. I'm gonna change this to inches. And I'm going to make this nine. Oops. Take this, make it nine inches. Let's take it all down. Jumps and in increments. So just go straight down to nine. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And I'll make this, I'll take this down to 11. Okay. There you go, three quarters. Boom. It's half, 79, 11 and three quarters. So yeah, it's 12 there. So yeah, all right, just checking it. All right, so I already have 10 right here. So I want you to have 10 pages. Make sure that facing pages is not checked. Um, leave that blank. We'll talk about that at a later date. Um, um, do, 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 do. Gutters, we are gonna, talk about this and how to adjust that as we go. Matter of fact, let's do it now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, we're gonna make that right there. We're gonna make um, 2.25 uh, inches. Mm, that's a, yeah, let's take it back down. Right there, 1.25, all right. We're going to leave a half inch border around for your margin that's around the entire document. Go back up here and check just to make sure you can give it a title. Um, we'll just call this margin and gutter demo. All right, so and then hit create and boom, we have our magazine layout. And the reason I chose this size um, for the document is because it's one, it's the size of a couple of my favorite magazines for creatives. There's a Photoshop magazine out there. And then there's a uh, Imagine FX magazine. So this is actual document size for that. Now, um, all of your pages here are stacked. And we're not gonna get into the master page yet. We'll get on another, uh, another um, later assignment coming up. Um, so remember that, that A master page, we're not gonna talk about it. right now. We're just gonna focus on each, all 10 of these um, pages. So what I want you to do for this assignment is you're going to create uh, work on creating um, gutters and margins. All right, so what I'm, I'm gonna share my screen so that it can get everything. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Photoshop file and this is the photo that I had. I'm gonna open that up. So this is a photo I've, um, I took, I, I did some, just had some chicken and some, some French toast a while ago. So up here, what I did was I actually changed the resolution of this photo. Um, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna close this and open up the original and just go back to it. So this was the original photo right here. Come on, okay, so the original photo comes in and I'm gonna go to image and then I'm gonna go to image size. And right now you see it's 300, um, it's, it's 4,032 pixels. Uh, make sure it's on pixels for the photo. I know in, in uh, InDesign we're doing inches for the document, but for this photo we're gonna do pixels. I want you to change the resolution. We'll come to that in a second. Okay, 3,000. Resolution 300, there you go. Took a mile to get there, but we're there. Okay, okay that, and then that's my image. And then save it as a PSD, you'll save as, and then in your folder, whatever, wherever you're gonna save it. So I saved mine as a PSD, boom, boom, boom. And then boom, it's right there. I'm not gonna save it again. Let's leave it where it's at. All right, once you do that, you're gonna come out of Photoshop you're going to go back into um, InDesign, and we'll take that up in a second. Okay, so we're back on InDesign. 
I'm going to take and go up here to layout. And at the top of your browser, you're going to find create guides. And you're going to make a seven column grid. So we're going to put seven in the row and then go seven on the columns. So you have, and then once I click on gutters, it creates the grid right there. All right, and what I want to do now is I want to have, you know what, I'm going to leave the, you know what, no, no, I'm going to put a, I'm going to go one point, I mean, one point one two five on both to make thinner gutters. All right, so we hit OK. Now we have our gutters. What you do then is you're going to, out of the 10 pages, each page is going to have a different photo. Well, on each page, you're going to do a, a different placing and cropping of each image per page. And what I mean by that is, let's say, for instance, you come up here, you're going to go and you see place, right? You're going to find your image. You're going to find that PSD file, open it, and you see I'm moving it around now, and you're going to place it on the page. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna move it in the position. So if I had it on the page here, one thing I want the I want the image smaller. So I'm gonna use a transform tool right here. So I move it around, it gets like squishy. I'm gonna hold down shift to constrain the properties of it. And I'm gonna get it where I want it on the page. All right. So remember. You see how I have these guides? I'm gonna, I wanna make sure my picture is not within the gutter in here. I wanna make sure it's on the line for the grid. Bam. So I don't want it to go below that. But I kind of want to crop some of this off. So I wanna make sure I have my selector tool here. I'm not gonna grab the MC, the, the little square popped up. I'm not gonna grab it here because if I grab it here, it's gonna move the picture. I wanna grab one of the points, right? And I wanna crop it. So I'm gonna pull it down and I'm gonna crop the edge of that. I'm going to crop some of that out right there. And then I want to, what I want to do is move it, my picture over to get it where I want. And I actually want to enlarge it. So I'm going to grab my transform tool back, hold my shift down, and stretch it out until it touches the gutter right there. Bam. Now I, I'm going to move it where I want it. And so if I was going to crop this picture, give the best crop. See, I moved outside the, the outside of my margin. So don't try to do it at a distance. Zoom in. I'm going to go up here, grab my tool again, and I'm going to crop it to the margin. So it's like I'm going to crop this here to the gutter. I don't want to make, I'll make sure it's not under. Bam. I want to make sure it's right on the line. And see, I could crop it. I, could, I don't want to crop it here within the gutter, I wanna make sure I'm past the gutter. So I can either crop it there or I can crop it there to make my, you know, to slide my image out. All right. See now this tool right here, the white ones, the directional tool, I can actually move my photo around within the cropped area and, and and pretty much put it where I want. Now that I've chosen it, I can use my arrows to kind of move it and tweak it over, right? So then I have my picture there at one and that's where it's cropped. It's in the margins, it's not crossing over my gutters. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it again. Come up to file, I'm gonna go to place. I'm gonna grab the same file, place it on the page again, move the photo around, I actually wanna, Take and I'm going to use my transform tool. Hold down shift. I'm going to move, make it smaller. So, just to show you how this works, I want to just kind of stay in this area right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enlarge it back up. And I just want to see, enlarge it again. So, let me show you how to crop. All right. So go back to my tool. This is the area that I want. I want to crop it there. I want to pull this in here so I can get part of the food, right? Boom. Nice and clean in the margins. 
staying away from the gutters. All right, so then I have to do it a third time. Look, oh, I have a little space here. So I zoom in so I can make sure that I'm not going outside of my line. No, I'm perfectly on the line. So I check, I, I go in and I check it because that's exactly what I'm gonna do when it comes to your work. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna check it. So again, I need, I need one more place for the same photo. So I'm gonna place, same photo. But what did I do? Let me zoom out so I can see what I'm doing. Undo. Okay, so yeah. I was placing it on a, make sure I don't have that selected because if I do that, it's gonna place my photo on top of an existing one. So make sure you not don't have those selected. So I'm gonna move this photo again. This time I wanna use my margin and I wanna keep a large portion of that, just kind of showing the meat and part of the fork. So I'm just gonna do this right here. So that's what I want for my next crop. And I want that, I don't want that picture overlapping. Boom, oops, still, oh, right there in the gutter. Bam. Keep the fork and I'm gonna pull it up there. Now I just wanna move this a little bit. I'm gonna move it up and play around with my placement. Too much of that chicken. Get some of that French toast in there. Okay. So there you have it. Three pieces on the page. So even if I decide to take this and move it, I can move it here. And I want to make sure, okay, bam, bam, bam. Too much in the gutter. Bam. I'm going to put it up. And okay, I want to pull this over here. There we go. And so now you go to the next page, you save, go to the next page and then start all over again and then boom. Now to get the grid all over, let me go back, let me zoom out so you can see the entire page. So you have the one page here, but if you go down here, you don't, you don't have the, the grid and the guides there. So to get it all over, this is when we come up here, so we want A, you come up here to your master A page right here. There we go. Should be on the master page. Now that we're on the master page, see everybody makes mistakes. I do it all the time on my master's page, bam. And I want those same grids. Let me go there. One more. There we go. Now I hit okay. And if I go down to my, all my pages, select all my different pages, all the pages have the grid now. So each one of these pages are singular pages. Bam. Double click, there you go. That's what you need to do to get your um, work on your pages. All right, so when I come down and I can scroll, I can see all of my pages. Now, when you when you go to save your work, I want to make sure you save your save your file, save as, and of course, you know you have the, the name of the file, you save it. But when you're going to export for me to grade, what I want you to do is come up here to file, and then you're going to was it export? I think it's export. <laughs> Let me see, do, 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 print. Yeah, so hold on, let me go back one second. Let me check one thing. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing is checking for precision and page layouts. I'm going to check out how you lined your pictures up, how you crop them, make sure that you didn't stretch or squish your photo, that you actually crop them and line them with, uh, within the margins and the gutters on the page in different locations. Don't do the same format. Every, on every single page. Make sure your pictures are cropped differently on each page um, according to whatever the photo is. And they should come out nice and crisp. But I want you, when you finish, I want you to export these files 
So you see it's export, boom. And I want it as a PDF. And don't do interactive, do print so that I can see um, how it looks. So what I'm going to do is just going to export same thing I just did, same place as the rest of my work. And I'm going to boom, going to close it, export it there. And here we go to do general, general pages, 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 create separate. Marks hyperlinks. Visible guides and base grids. I want to put that there so I want to be able to see it. So you're going to hit export. I'm going to open up a file so that you can see what I just saved. Where's it at? Okay, here we go. This gutter demo. So now you can see the gutters that I created and everything lines up with the margin and then the gutters. So even this picture over here, I'm going to be checking for precision and accuracy in your work. All right, so let's get to work. Have at it.